Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, good morning. How's y'all day? Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, we talking about this on the air this morning. And um, I'm just trying to see. I'm reading. I'm, I'm online, and I'm looking around, you know, trying to, you know, trying to read some of the comments. And I'm actually shocked that I'm seeing a lot of uh, ladies, uh, you know, promoting uh, uh, violence. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, some of these uh, tweets and responses are, um, you know, or whatever. But uh, nothing, nothing at all, justify, justifies Will walking up, slapping the shit out of somebody while they while they on stage. Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Now, if Jada, if I was Will Smith, if I, and we all different, I'm just saying the way I want my right to get backstage, find out, okay, when the, when the talent come off stage, do they come off stage to this side or this side? Uh, when, okay, they come out to this side right here? Okay, I would have patiently waited for Chris Rock to come off stage. And when Chris Rock came off stage, I would have been like, uh, Hey, can I talk to you for a second? I would have. Wait. Let's pause this shit right here now. That's what we weren't going to do. You know, I know it's a team in place for everything. And you're supposed to act professional and act accordingly and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I've been going through all this tape all day, listen to everybody. And put on it, and this is what I, you know, um, first of all, it looks like, you know, uh, Will Smith already had tapped into Chris Rock. If you listen back to what Chris Rock said, which I'm going to search somewhere here at the end of the video, after Ricky Smiley say what he say, right? You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck with Ricky done. Don't get it twisted, no, but I don't agree with all the shit he said right here. You know what I'm saying? Well, we all... Got the right to have our own opinion about you, right? But if you look at the bigger picture, right? So Chris Rock, when he was on stage and made his joke, and then when he realized the joke shook up, he had a like that. You know what I see? I turned to Jada and he said, All it wasn't that bad of a joke. Meaning and he didn't say it in those exact words, but we'll go back to the tape. But meaning, well, I already discussed with you that I was going to be joking about you, but I didn't go in detail with you, but I'm sorry it hit you the wrong way. But anyway, let's get into this. I'll, I'll come back with my commentary. I'll get into this. To Chris Rock in a small room, and I would have asked him, I would have been like, so what's up? What's up with that? What you just said about my wife? And I would have at least, because what happens is, what happens is that would have given Chris Rock the opportunity to make the correction. Say silly of me to think that I could ever get away with crime. What would I do? Right? That would have given Chris Rock the opportunity to say, "Hey man, I didn't mean any harm," or you know, hey, fuck you, I said what I said. Okay, if he would have went back straight and said, fuck you, I said what I said, then slap the shit out of me. Me a police, them my chat about me just one time. Me live the life, love money, that's two crimes. What will be my destiny? Hey, hey. If that's what you was going to do. But okay, but Rick is smiling. Okay, but Ricky smiled. What do you mean? If he went backstage and then slapped Will. Either way, girl, we're always going to be talking about it. You still was going to make your, your opinion about, you know, is it right or wrong? So, I believe what Will did was, like I said in the beginning, he 
on backstage or before they got on the show that not already talked with Chris Rock. Chris Rock said, you know, I'm hosting, you know, I tell them a corny jokes. Well, you know, I'm probably going to get on you and Jada, but I ain't going to get on you that bad. You know what I say? So then Will and Jada probably looked at him like, hmm, like, well, I already went through this one time with your ass. You know what I'm saying? And then Will probably said, okay, nigga, you know, now I'm telling you, if you fuck up. And you see something wrong, I'm going in your shit and don't think I'm playing about it, right? You know, and then at the same time, you know, Will and Jada, they probably was riding in the car on the way there and they say, hey, you know, hey, 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 hosting tonight, you know, well, what if they see this and what if they see that? Because you're going to tell their bond is like that together, you know what I'm saying? So they're already discussing what possibly can happen and who can say what. And they know it was going to be Chris Rock, you know? And so Jada probably turned to Will and say, look, look, Will, look. Look here. If he can't get out of hand, I need you to check him. When I hear that high piece, I need you to run up and get him done up. You know? Fresh photos with the lighting. <laughs> That's all it took was the look. You know what I'm saying? If you don't recognize, you don't recognize. But I like going to let, let Ricky go and say what he got to say. You know, wrong is wrong and right is right. But you don't talk about nobody's sick wife. That's not law. Okay, you know what I see? Pierce, let's get to it. Did you give him an opportunity to correct? Did you give him an opportunity to apologize? Or you could have sat in your seat and said, keep your, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And that would have been that. That would have been. Well, Ricky, I think that was all that was already said. And that's why he said the shit again after the fact he went in his mouth. You know what I say? Like, you know, I think he already pre-warned him. You know what I say? If it wasn't there at the show, it was months ago. And how you gonna, how people gonna say they didn't know that Jada had alopecia? You know what I say? Like, it's all over the news. Ready to watch Red Table, NBC, CNN, BET, whatever the fuck you're watching to get your news shit. You know, it's all over the place. You report news to don't tell me that it never came across one of your Inca desk and shit. You know, I say one of your creators desk. You know, I say like I'm a little confused by people saying, "All oh, right, he didn't know about it and shit." Now I'm pretty sure he was well aware of it, but he tried to clean it up because he wanted to use it as a joke and shit like that. You know what I say? Like, let's keep it real. Yeah, he didn't know about this shit, and Will Ben said something to his ass, and that's we the we here reacted the we here reacted on stage like that. You know. I said, and yeah, he got a strong jaw like this. <laughs> I said, talk some hits. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, you can tell him been hit like that before. You know what I'm saying? He can take it. Huh? We can't knock Chris for that hit. It stood up and took that shit. He wasn't crawling all over the floor like a space monkey or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to it. Let's get back to Ricky. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Ricky. I fuck with him a long way. You know what I'm saying? I just like to, you know, hear other people's opinions. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. But he he would have went out to the next jerk or went on to somebody else. You could have made your point without walking up on stage putting your hands on somebody. Because I tell you what, <laughs> if you had <laughs> came up there and slapped me, he would have been limping back. Mm. All of Birmingham, all of Kingston, all of Airport, all of Center Point and Roebuck would have came out of me. And and that 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 person I, that I keep uh, uh, with held, and I'm, I'm talking about I stand strong on my manhood, period. Okay, well, we'll stand strong on his manhood. And, and when it comes to his wife and his children and family or whoever he chose to protect in the world. You know what I'm saying? If the shoe was on the other foot, if somebody were talking about somebody close to you or something, how would you feel in there sitting there looking humiliated and everybody laughing like it's really a joke, but it ain't no joke to them. You know what we're going to stop on the other side of the grass right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put both feet in the, in, in, in the shoes and shit. Ricky, you know what I'm saying? That, that's right, too. That's shit and rage. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're going to come. You're going to bring the country out. The country ain't got shit to do with hood and street life. You know what I'm saying? Philly and Birmingham. Let's say like this. City and the bone docks is totally different places. You know what I'm saying? My people come from the, the south and shit. You know what I'm saying? Two different places. Yeah, you can tear some heads up with it. 
Will Smith is an indifferent film. You know, I say, hey, one up there, you know, hey, 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 mock hand them, pimp slap them. <laughs> he did them a two piece and one. You know, I say, bucket and bucket and shit like that. You know, I say, he brought about that, that Philly, you know, slapped them with some Philly cheese stink and shit like that. You know, I say, like, he, he, he did what he had to do and he said, fuck it. I'm going to do this shit behind closed doors for you to be talking about, you know, everybody speculating what happened. I'm going to handle this shit on live. And I, you know, <sighs> probably wasn't the best professional way to handle it. But guess what? Everybody get triggered by something. And sometimes you're caught off guard no matter where you at in life. You know what I say? Like, let's just keep it real. Everybody and perfect and shit. What you is is what you is. I stand strong on my manhood. And regardless of whether uh, Chris Rock, Chris Charges or not, uh, he should be arrested because that was assault. That was assault. Down the Webber, you on here, you're a police officer, that was assault. And, uh, and the LAPD is, you know, it ain't about, okay, protecting women. How many people in the cemetery for making the wrong decision and doing it the wrong way? How many people or at Zion Memorial Gardens, or at at, at, at at Carver Memorial Cemetery for making the wrong decision. You don't know what, what nobody past is and, and what somebody done been through for you to be out here putting your hands on somebody. You can't do that. Okay, Ricky, you made a good point. You can't do that. Be out here picking with people when you don't know what they're going through or what they've been through. And with that being said, Will Smith has been through a lot over the last past years. You gotta go in through all of what he's been in through because that ain't got shit to do with right now. But even though it could be manifested somewhere in him, you know what I say? Deeply rooted that it just came out like today was the day it wasn't taking no shit from nobody. You know what I say? But that goes same for Chris Rock. Don't sit up there and talk about somebody and you don't know what they're going through. I don't give a fuck if the joke gonna make you go viral or not. Don't do that shit. If you got respect for Will and you got respect for Jada, well, we know you kind of don't do for Jada. But anyways, if you got any kind of form of respect for anybody that's sitting in that room, you know what I say? You shouldn't do those little tasteless ass fucking jokes like that. You know what I say? Like, you're cooking from, from New Jack City. This is Jada from Set It The Fuck Up. You know what I say? Will Prince from The Fresh Prince and Bel Air and shit. You know what I say? You want to talk about levels? All to different total levels. You know what I say? They live the street life. You didn't quite live the street life like that. Even though you may have a little taste of it, but they really live that street life before. You know what I say? So don't don't do that down. Don't do that. Don't get to comparing apples to oranges and shit like that. You know what I say? Like, you know, don't do that. Because if people is going through things, then you got to be very careful of what you see, how you say it, and where you say it. Now, maybe if it was behind closed doors and backstage and he chuckled that to, you know, Jada, maybe they would have laughed it off and, okay, fuck it, you know what I say? But don't try that shit on stage, you know? Maybe that, you know what I say? But don't seem like they knew what the joke was gonna be intended for. You know what I say? They didn't know he would hit. They knew he was joking, gonna joke about him, but they didn't know how far the fucking joke was gonna be. You know what I say? And that shit right there was not cool. So, you know, what I say, I, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't have really nothing bad to say about Will Smith and what he did because I mean, shit. People actually wanna act. You know what I say? Like you can't. Money don't change a person from the inside. Only on the outside. It's called discretion. Control your anger. Control your, your, your temper. Where was that same energy when you, you know, when she, she emasculate, in my opinion, did she, did she molest, uh, uh, emasculate him <laughs> at the red table talking about Tupac and August Alcina in entanglement? That's all I'm saying. Wow. All I'm saying is, what this got to do with Will smacking, mocking Chris and shit? You know what I'm saying? Just say that I got my hands on my chest like you, Rick. You know what I'm saying? 
Sí, They are okay with what each other have done or have done in the past, meaning moving forward. Anything you say and anything they do can't be held against them because they both in it together. Open relationship. You know what I say? The ship, the relationship, you know, the connection. You know, that's why I'm kind of glad they handle that part of the life, part of their lifestyle, you know. Uh, in, the in the right, right manner when it came time, time to address it with the people. people. That in an open relationship. I should, I should stop everybody from, from talking about August and shit. Why he didn't smoke August? That's a whole different toilet story. story. And he ain't gonna tell them why he didn't smack the more. But you know what I say? I mean, if he didn't have no reason to smack him because maybe he was okay with the situation. From what I'm thinking about, like, he was okay with the situation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't put your hands on nobody. It's because somebody say something. Period. Put them to the side. Go in the room. Say, hey, what's up with what you said? Hey, man, this was on the script or it wasn't on the script or off the top of my head. It was a bad joke. Uh, I would apologize to you as a man. Uh, respectfully apologize and I would like to apologize uh, to your wife. Now it's too late, to now work it's too late you work it out. Respectfully. Well, respectfully would be just not going there at all. Like, how old is Chris Rock? You know what I say? See, he know right from wrong. He know what joke was gonna fuck somebody and what joke not to be. And what if the show was on the other foot? What if that was Will uh, or anybody else that was on stage and said something about somebody wife? And you know, I mean, everybody would be reacting the same way. So I don't know why people keep saying, oh, he shouldn't did Chris Rock like that. Well, shit, what if it was the Rock Rock? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or what if it was Barack Rock? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, a man gonna do what a man gonna do and a woman gonna do what a woman gonna do. And if I got to give my man a woman a look to let him know, go for that shit up right now because that's how I'm feeling and they feel the feel from my eyes and not what it is ain't no ain't no excuses that's why when he got up there and he apologized you're damn right he didn't apologize to fucking uh, Chris Rock you know what I say because he figured I did what I did I mean what I mean and I said what I said you know what I say like I said it and then keep your motherfucking wife name out my mouth out your mouth and shit you know what I say like that shit right there that smoke that spoke more volumes than the smack because you know the crowd chuckled like it was part of the other mix and it wasn't part of the mix he was real he was serious he was serious and then when you got the ones they saying hey well why was he laughing at the beginning uh, he was laughing probably because, you know, most black people are where we might chuckle a little bit like that. More fuck, I'm mean, fucked up. <laughs> she, I know her. I know her. She ain't talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and then so, you know, he, you know, and then at the same time, that was the moment where, where Will was trying to keep his professional to his professional. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to stay on that professional level and shit. But then, you know, when he turned and looked at Jada and he had seen that blood boiling from her, from her skin and shit, he said, oh, hell no, you know, you ain't gonna have me going home on the car ride home and Jada all in my ass about why you ain't check this motherfucker. So shit, he all she had to do was give him that look. You know what I said? I like that shit when you just give a motherfucker that look and they know you about that business like handle that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Handle that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I ain't got no filter. I ain't taking no no real science, you know, because you know at the same time, well, 
Yeah, it's a time and place for everything. That's the only thing I can say. It is a time and place for everything, but sometimes when you trigger that time and place for everything, go out the motherfucking window. Y'all say I got a story. I'm gonna tell you guys one day during story time. But anyway, let me let let Ricky go on. I've been talking to him. You know, you know, let me let Ricky go on and see. Uh, I say I'll follow with Ricky the whole way. You know, say. <laughs> I just felt like doing a, you know, a little, little commentary on him, what he had to say. Because I just wanted to know from some men in the crowd, you know, how they feel about it. And shit, I heard different sides. But anyways, I digress. Let's go back to this. Forgive me, Will Smith, for what I said. Give him the opportunity to make the correction if you, if you felt that way about it. But no, you went up there and you snapped him. Did, did anybody go and ask Chris, Chris Rock, was he okay? Right? Did anybody did anybody go up there, go to Chris Rock and, and say, hey man, you good? You straight? Uh you need us to handle? Nobody went to Chris Rock. Everybody just assumed that, you know what I'm saying? That that, that you know, even if you felt like he crossed the line, is it okay? And I don't care what the emotion is, I don't care what about the past anger or he mad about other shit or whatever. What if Chris Rock would have would have hit him back or kicked his ass or pulled out a gun and, and shot his ass? Well, I don't think Chris Rock was gonna do that. Chris Rock got his shit rocked, right? Cause he was crawling up under the room rocking shit, you know. Say he thought this rock was, you know, his. He thought he on that, you know, stage and Oscar life, you know. You know, I don't miss seeing Chris Rock do too many shows, you know, on the other side and shit like that too much now. You know what I'm saying? By what I'm saying, it's like, you know, you pick and choose your battles. Chris Rock know better. Let's say that. He know better. If you know better, you do better. If somebody tell you one time that, listen, don't cross the line. You cross it once, don't cross it again. Don't keep on picking on me. Like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, you know, that shit. Just don't do that. People need to be more, you know, sensitive about those that have medical conditions. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Chris Rock knew that shit. What, what, what is? Come on, thank you with a shot in the audience. If you'd yell out, keep your my fucking name, wife name out your mouth. I don't think you would have shot him then. But you didn't want them to put your hands on somebody. That's why a lot of people in the cemetery because of that. Well, I don't think that. People weren't concerned about was Chris Rock okay or not. I mean, obviously he was okay because he wasn't sliding across that motherfucking stage and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he continued to joke on about like the hit one nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think, you know, it wasn't one no real concern for Chris Rock. Well, I know no blood coming out his mouth and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't up there scuffling shit. We didn't see the security guards moving and I know they got to have it. It's some type of security guards there, right? You know what I'm saying? We didn't see no security guards moving like it was reality show. How they all come in. Even when they walked off the stage and shit, they still didn't come in. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, did, did the Oscar people come from the back and check on check on uh, uh Chris Rock while he was on stage? Shit, we didn't see that shit either. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying though, well, got to babysit Chris Rock, you know? Nobody gave him a bottle before he, 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 he spit that shit out. Or did he get a bottle? You know, like a real bottle or something. That's why he just spitting shit out. You know what I'm I mean, come on now, you know. But did anybody check on Jada and see was Jada okay? He was the one that was most hurt behind this. What about Jada? I don't care how deep his emotions is and what his past anger is about. None of that stuff. Don't matter. You don't walk up on stage in front of folks to put your hands on folks or whatever. You know, shit. It is bad jokes. Well, what the fuck you want comedians to do? Well, we got to go and whisper in your ear. Say, you know, whatever. I, you know, me personally, I wouldn't have did it. Did the joke if I knew that she's sensitive about or whatever. How do you know that he he didn't know that she had alopecia? 
But I damn sure didn't know. I didn't hear, I, I don't watch the red table. I didn't know. So if I go out there and and, and do a joke or, or say something uh, that was offensive or whatever, then I'm gonna, oh shit, my bad. My bad, bro. I apologize. I didn't mean nothing by that. You know what I'm saying? G.I. Jane was not um, a prostitute. G.I. Jane was a hero. Okay, so okay, so I'm a little confused. Not said anything about prostitution and shit like that. You know, like I'm lost. What you talking about? G.I. Jane wasn't a prostitute. She was this and that. Like. He wasn't referring to Jada as no prostitute. He was joking on her about her bald head and shit, which he didn't understand the reason why her head was all supposedly, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't sit up here and say that he really didn't know about that. You say you didn't know about that. But like I said in the beginning, how are you reporting on all these people every day? And that never came across your table, not with one of your co-workers, one of your co-workers knowing that J Jada had alopecia. I'm pretty sure Gary knew that, and I'm pretty sure the brat knew that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, Ricky. Like, let's be for real now. Okay, if you didn't know, you didn't know, but now you know. You know what I'm saying? So then that should change the dynamic of you and what you're saying about, you know, how you feel about Will should have handled that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you're whether you're a comedian or not, some things is off. The board, okay? Some teams you don't touch bases with when you know it's insensitive to certain people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. You ain't gonna sit up here and joke about cancer and you got, you don't know who in the room that got cancer. You ain't gonna do that. So if you seen her hair was that, why was her hair a big discussion of the fucking Oscar? She wasn't gonna know what? His focus should have been maybe cracking on Will Smith about some shit, but not his wife that's sitting there and he looking at her hair being bald right here. No, I'm not, but I believe he knew that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, it, it wasn't the funniest joke, and it wasn't, I don't think, and, and then the question becomes, what was his intent? Was his intent to do harm? You know, and uh, on the, I, I, I don't know. And then you fucked it up for, uh, uh, for Will Packer. That was his big night. And nobody even know that you won the award because you went up there and slapped somebody. Nobody know that you... Want, and I'm, I'm watching people tweet, like, stand up for black women. So it's a lot of single black women out here because their spouse is in the cemetery or whatever for not walking away or making a bad decision. You don't put your fucking hands on people, period. Point blank. Period. Ah... <sighs> Nah, you don't put people, you don't put your hands on people point blank for no reason. Yeah, that's a given. That is a given, Ricky. But when a motherfucker disrespects you and your wife, your siblings, your, 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 your family, and it's to the point where that blood is boiling, all oh, that shit is off the motherfucking table. That's law shit. We don't fuck with lies. We don't do goodbyes. We just keep it pushing like aye, aye, aye. During an otherwise joyful Oscar ceremony last night, when actor Will Smith jumped on the Oscar stage and slapped comedian Chris Rock in the face after a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Smith then returned to his seat, but he continued to shout at Rock. He was clearly very angry, dropping a couple of F-bombs in the process. A short time later, Smith won the Best Actor Oscar for the film King Richard, and he gave a very emotional speech in which he seemed to defend his actions, saying, quote, love makes you do crazy things. E.T.'s Kevin Frazier was on the red carpet for the Oscar ceremony. He joins us now to bring us up to date. Kevin, you know, some people saw this in real time. Other people woke up to this news this morning. Whenever you saw it, it was just stunning. I'd love to know what they're saying in Los Angeles this morning. You've never seen anything like this. Gail, you hit it on the head, because I have never seen anything like this at yeah. any award show before. And here's the thing, spirits were high throughout the evening until a joke from Chris Rock, as you mentioned, led Smith to walk onto the Dolby Theater stage and slap the comedian, all less than an hour before Smith would go on to win his very first Oscar. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Actress Jada Pinkett Smith was visibly unamused when presenter Chris Rock mocked her shaved head. 
unlike her husband, Will Smith, who was laughing until he wasn't when he marched towards Rock on stage. Oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the out of me. Put your wife's name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. Rock, who seemed visibly shaken for a moment, went on presenting. Well, Dada kept his wife's name out your mouth, you know? Like, don't do that now, don't do that. Don't do that. That was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. The joke came at the expense of Pinkett Smith, who was previously spoken out about her decision to shave her head amid her struggle with alopecia, a disease that results in hair loss. It was terrifying when it, when it first started. You know, I was in the shower one day and then just handfuls of hair just in my hands. And the Oscar goes to... Later in the night, Smith won the Best Actor Award for his portrayal of Serena and Venus Williams' father in King Richard. If I look like the crazy father, just like they said, <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. And he spoke about defending family. Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. Smith apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees while never mentioning Rock before ending his speech uncomfortably with do. humor. Thank you, uh, uh, Hoking Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> and you know what? Hey, more praises to, to, to Will Smith because, man, God is showing them something, you know, and God's showing somebody else something, you know. So this is a life lesson that we all learn, you know, just watching these two people and stuff. You really got to be careful of what you say about people these days, you know what I say? Even us as content creators, we have to be careful on what we choose to do content on, how we choose to say it, you know, the information we get and the way we deliver it. You know what I say? Some things is off limits and some things you just don't talk about, period. You know, that's law. Now, that apology is likely why Smith was able to accept his award in person. We're told the Oscar staff was trying to decide whether to ask him to leave after the outburst. Now, the Academy tweeted that it does not condone violence of any form. The Los Angeles Police Department said they are aware of an incident at the event, but that Rock declined to file a police report, Gail. I don't know about you, Kevin, but I woke up. I went to bed with such deep sadness. I woke up with, with, with deep sadness as well. We know Chris, we know Will, admire yep. and like them both. And to see this happen between the two of them on the Oscar stage was very, very difficult. I also, listen, I haven't talked to Chris, I haven't talked to Will. I do not believe that Chris Rock knew that Jada has alopecia, and that it was a painful thing. He is not a malicious guy. He is not a snarky guy. He wouldn't make a joke like that to cause somebody pain, I believe. Well, Gail, what's very interesting is you look at two of the biggest entertainers, uh, two of the biggest African-American. Well, have Chris Rock made a statement yet? I mean, damn, what the elephant in the room meant it? You know what I'm saying? Like, have he made a statement yet is what I want to know. I'm going to research that. You know, just, you know, we know he didn't press charges. Okay, we know that much, right? But. Did he, what did he say? Did he know it or he didn't know it or everybody just speculate? You know what I'm saying? Like that. Let's keep, let's, let's figure that out. Let, will the real Chris Rock please sign up? 
in the entertainers. entertainers. And now this has stained both their careers. Meanwhile, Will afterwards went to the Vanity Fair party with his family he and he, he celebrated. He celebrated his win and his Oscar. There were questions today why Will wasn't immediately escorted out of the building. If a stranger had walked on the stage and, and hit Chris that way, th that's why you have security. But I'm telling you, when I was watching it, Kevin, I thought it was a bit. I thought it was a joke between the two and of them. It was only when he sat back down and Will started screaming at him in the way wow. that he screamed that you realize it wasn't. And we were all cheering for Will. We were all wanting to, well, many, I'll say many people I knew were cheering for Will. I was cheering for Will. Wanted that was him the to sentiment. finally win that Oscar, yes. That was the sentiment on the red carpet that everyone was cheering for Will. Diddy came by and he said, it is going to be a ride if Will doesn't win. We didn't know that there was going to be a ride beforehand. Yeah, I, I think Sean Combs did. He tried to clean him and say, you know, we'll handle yeah. this privately. But it, the, it can no longer be private because now it's on the Oscar stage and everybody's talking about it. Yes. It was a very tough night, very tough night. Thank you, yep. Kevin. Hey.